we're going to see some snow for your morning commute, and that's not great in terms of timing because it's not a huge snowfall. It's more of a nuisance, and then the timing with it makes it tough to keep those roadways clear when many of the folks are trying to get into work. So right now, it's a not that impressive of a storm system. It's not going to be a memorable snowfall. It's just all about the timing. We have a weather advisory in place across the GTA, and that includes all of the major roadways through the QEW, the 404, the 401, the 400, the 407, the DVP. You get the gist of it because every roadway is going to be dealing with some snow covering through that morning commute, and the plows will likely be out trying to clear that road surface because we're going to put down about two centimeters before the commute even starts and then heavier snow expected smack dab in the middle of that morning rush. So we'll see some of those amounts coming down with one to two centimeters per hour and then it starts to clear out by about 10 here in the GTA with a couple of snow showers possible throughout the evening and then possibly even a little bit of lake effect back in behind it. Here's the early morning snowfall, about two centimeters there before 6 a.m. And then we add another two to four. So four to eight is sort of the range we're going with for most of the GTA with a couple of pockets in the west end that are going to be a little lower. So expect delays during the morning drive tomorrow. And if it's one of those days where you can work from home, not a bad idea to try to do that because it's not going to be fun on the roadways and it's only going to be really in the morning hours as we get into the weekend it'll be a chilly start to it but we warm up quite nicely on sunday we'll bring in some evening rain showers though and then that light rain continues through monday we'll see the rain turning over to snow on tuesday and then it gets cold again through the middle part of the week and even colder than what we've seen all an updated forecast on that system coming up tonight at 11 o'clock